Once upon a time, Gautam Buddha was sitting with his disciples. At the same, King Ajatashatru reached there and asked Buddha, O oh Lord, ever since I became your follower, everyone has been exploiting me. Why do bad things happen always to good people? They are taking undue advantage of my calmness. Before I became your follower, everyone was afraid of me because I was very cruel. I would not think twice to punish anyone with a death sentence. But after becoming your follower, I do not feel like punishing anyone, nor do I get angry. I have become peaceful and I look at everyone with compassion. But some people are taking undue advantage of my calm conduct. This has also put the people of my country in some kind of danger. Due to this, I am facing a lot of problems in the governance of my country. Please tell me what should I do now? Hearing this from King Ajatashatru, Buddha tells him a story, and the story goes like this. Once there lived a venomous snake in a hole under a large tree. The tree stood in a corner of a field near a village. The snake attacked people at even the slightest provocation, and many people died because of the snake's deadly bite. People were afraid to go near the tree due to their fear of the snake. One day a monk was passing through the village and saw this beautiful tree. He decided to meditate under its shade before he moved on. Some villagers who were driving their cows back home saw the monk and warned him about the snake. They told him that this snake was so dangerous that whoever goes near him, he bites him. The monk smiled and continued to walk towards the tree. The villagers left from there. As the monk sat down to meditate, the snake came out from his hole with an angry hiss and ready to bite. The monk chanted a mantra looking straight into the snake's eyes and miraculously snake started a conversation with him. The snake says to that monk, Oh man, don't you fear me? Don't you know that this is my area and no one dares to come here? The monk said with compassion, My dear friend, what is there to fear in this? I am not afraid of anything. I do not fear death, nor do I desire to live. Why should I fear you? In fact, you are afraid that no one should kill you and that's why you bite others. The snake was astonished to hear this from the monk. Till now he had met only such people who tried to kill him or ran away in fear of him. But he had never met a person who would not fear him. Hearing this, the snake wraps itself at the feet of the monk and said, O oh Lord, you are right. Whatever I have done till today, I have done to save my life. If I don't do this, people would kill me. The monk said, You are right. But my dear friend, remember one thing that life will end one day. Therefore, it is not appropriate to kill others to save it. Give up this attachment of your life and be filled with love for others. After saying this, the monk left from there. The snake was influenced by the words of the monk, and he decided that from today onwards he would not bite anyone. He gives up his angry nature and stops biting others. But the result of it turns out to be the opposite, when people see that the snake has stopped biting others. Now they started taking undue advantage of this. Those who used to fear him and run away from him now started catching him. Now people would tease him, scratch him and hurt him. Now the snake was always wounded and hurt. He was very sad. He was having the hardest time of his life. One day that monk once again came to that village and sat under the same tree. Just then, he saw that snake. He was very surprised to see him in such a pathetic state. He asked him, Oh my friend, how did you get in such a pathetic condition? Who has injured you? The snake replied, Oh, blessed one, you told me to give up my angry nature and not to bite others, ever since I left my violent nature and adopted peace. Since then, people have started misbehaving with me, and now no one is afraid of me. People come, hurt me, and leave me in a miserable condition. Life has become very difficult for me. Hearing this from the snake, the monk said, My dear friend, it seems that you have misinterpreted my sermon. I told you not to bite others unnecessarily, but I did not stop you from hissing for your self-defense. After telling this story to King Ajatshatru, Buddha asked him, King, what have you understood from this story? Are you taking my sermon in the wrong way as that snake did? I told you to give up your cruel nature, but not to give up the duty of the king. You have to fulfill your duty to be a king by being tough from the outside so that you can discipline everyone in your kingdom. You have to maintain the process of justice in your state by being tough, so that people can live peacefully in your kingdom and they don't feel any kind of insecurity. Therefore, you have to rule like a monk from the inside and like a king from the outside. If we see the world around us, we will find that this often happens to good people. People often try to take undue advantage of their goodness. 
And because of this, those who are good have to face many difficulties in their life. Doing good deeds is not a problem, but not to the extent that people start taking advantage of you. One needs to learn how to remain undisturbed from the inside, yet act outside in a way where people don't take you for granted. If you have to get angry to keep things in discipline, then you should do it. You can do it without disturbing your inner peace of mind. An actor is one who is acting to be angry in a play, but from inside he is not angry, because he knows that it is just a part of the play. Similarly, you have to behave smartly in this world to keep things in control. This is the art of living. This is the art of being. It means being at peace while engaged in the most frenetic tasks so that one can carry these out with maximum skill and efficiency. It means being one with what we are doing in a state of profound concentration and flow. There is a lot of activity happening outside, yet nothing is disturbed inside. Buddha says, now I know this is a question that most of us have asked ourselves in our life. So when miserable things happen to our life, when unexpected things happen to our life, normally we ask ourselves, why always me? Why do these things happen only to me? What is wrong with me? Life is like a book. When we are reading a book, we go through sad chapters, we go through happy chapters, we go through adventurous chapters. But if someone meets a sad chapter and if he stops reading that book and keeps it away because it was a sad chapter, you cannot enjoy the whole essence of the book. Life is also like that. When we are living our life, there will be happy chapters, there will be sad chapters of our life, and also there will be adventurous chapters. But if we stop in the sad chapters of our life, what will happen? We will never make our lives successful. Remember that. That is why they say if you focus on the pain, you will start to suffer. But if you focus on the lesson, you will start to grow. So when life teaches you hard lessons, tough lessons, when you are going through the tough times, problems, physical problems, mental problems, social problems, relationship problems, whatever problem it is, you should not make that problem a destination. You have to go through them. And that is why they say, you will grow through what you go through. Buddha said, Sadharanam Vihanyanti. If you expect fairness from this unfair life, you will end up as an exhausted person, a tired, empathetic person because life is unfair. And the problem is that we are expecting fairness from our life. Bad things may always happen to good people. And also, good things also happen to good people. To be happy and successful, focus on positivity. The more you focus on the positivity, the more you will become happier. And the more you will be able to make your life and remake your problems and falls in your life and live a happy life forever.